Welcome to another video. Today, what we will be doing is performing a full breakdown in the market. So taking a pair, analyzing it from a technical and order flow perspective, and by using the combination of these two different approaches to the market, we will be able to understand where is the area with the highest confluences for a potential trading opportunity. So I really suggest that you stick to the video until the end, because it will be also practical for an actual trade that you can be looking for in the future. Now, if you're new to the channel, I'm a top order on a trading view platform and I share free education and analysis on all my platforms daily. So I suggest you subscribe and I will see you in the video. The pair that I want to speak about in today's video is Euro GBP because it is a very interesting pair for a potential trading opportunity. And during the video, I will show you the full breakdown both from a technical and order flow perspective of the pair to see exactly where we can be looking for a potential trading opportunity for a very good risk to reward. And as usual, guys, I will try to keep the analysis as educational as possible so that during the video, you will learn as much as possible. So let's start the full breakdown. As usual, guys, we will have to check what we have on the monthly, weekly and daily time frame for the direction of the market and then we will go down on the four hour time frame to see where we can be looking for a potential trading opportunity. And we will also need to check what we have from a COT perspective. So commitment of traders, what the biggest speculators in the market are doing. So the hedge funds, the big boys in the market, and by following their orders, we will be able to see how we can be gaining an advantage over our competitors in the market and capitalize on the move. So let's start our analysis on the monthly time frame. Now on the monthly, what we can see, we can see that clearly we have a market that at the moment has rejected multiple times a very strong level of resistance. This level was resistance here, again resistance here, resistance again at this zone, and the market recently just rejected this zone again. So from here, we can definitely expect a little bit of short term weakness for the Euro GBP. Let's go down on the weekly and see what kind of situation we have from a weekly perspective. Now on the weekly situation is very, very simple. If you remember the first time that we spoke about Euro GBP, the market had created this overextended W formation, retesting exactly the previous resistance here, turned again resistance here. And what did we want to see? We wanted to see the market make this huge move to the downside. I will link that analysis in this in description and that is in fact exactly what the market did the market created the nice move to the downside then again what did we say we said after this w formation we definitely want to see the market make this move to the downside and again that is exactly what the market did and then again what did we say we said from here we want to see the continuation to the upside for the creation of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside and i will link all this analysis in the description so you can go and check them out and we also actually said from here that we definitely wanted to see the market make this move to the upside and again that is exactly what the market did i will link all those previous analysis in description but at the moment what do we currently have on Euro GBP, how we can be looking to capitalize on this pair. Now, from a weekly perspective, it's pretty clear that the previous weekly resistance, which was resistance here, broke to the upside and now it's supposed to be turned support. However, it seems like the market is finally managing to actually break below this structure, which would be great because it would mean that at that point we have a bearish structure on the weekly and we can expect the continuation to the downside that we already want to see from the monthly time frame. But important to say that this weekly candle still hasn't closed, closed yet. Obviously, there are three days and 11 hours remaining. Let's go down on the daily time frame and see what kind of situation we have from a daily perspective. Now on the daily, what did we say with our previous, the last analysis that I published on EuroGBP, which as well, I will link in description just a few days ago. What did I say? I said 
here we clearly have very very strong structure okay it is structure resistance here again resistance again resistance the market broke it to the upside here now retested it and again the market tested the zone here however it tested it with a nice pattern in fact the market here created a move to the upside retracement higher high equal low now if you see a market do something like this high higher high equal low what do you want to see you want to see the market make a move to the upside create the head and shoulders and from here make the move to the downside that is exactly what you expect and in fact that is what the market did breaking this very very strong structure to the downside and what did we say also in that analysis which as well as i will link in the description we said that with students we were just waiting for the break and on the retracement on the four hour time frame we would be looking for a potential trading opportunity and in fact that is exactly what we did on the retest of this extremely strong structure on the four hour time frame the market provided to us one of our valid entries and in fact we took a very nice short with a very nice and a very good risk to reward to the downside for a one to three risk to reward to the downside and we are currently running this trade risk free obviously i can't share all my rules for entry the only thing that i can share is that clearly here we had previous report now turn resistance plus the retest of the 0.382 fibonacci taken on the impulse which is just a basic technical analysis confluence zone and you're supposed to be knowing this is simple technical analysis concepts for free there's no reason for me to charge you to just uh, teach you that a confluence zone of resistance is a good area to be looking for a trading opportunity but it's not enough that is why we have more rules when it comes to uh, understanding where is the best zone for entry where our stop loss needs to be where our take profits it needs to be but this is the trade that we currently are running but why am i speaking about euro gbp because there is a thing that the market does very very often if the retracement happens without a green candle what happens very very often is that yes the market will create a wave to the downside but then we will see a real retracement back to retest the structure creating an actual wave to the upside meaning that if this structure is broken to the downside now this extremely strong level of structure which was resistance here resistance 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 support support broke to the downside turned resistance we have good probabilities that the market will go again to test this level creating a nice wave okay in actual retracement not just one candle which retests the zone but actually in actual wave to the upside now before i show you how we can be looking to capitalize if that will happen for a beautiful risk to reward and very good uh, probabilities for the trade to actually happen let's go and see what we have from a cot perspective so commitment of traders as i said earlier so the order flow from hedge funds now let's go and see actually let's take the other table that we have because it's a little bit bigger and easier to a read just a quick reminder make sure you comment below and you let me know which pair or topic you would like me to cover or analyze in the next video okay so this is a custom app that we have also the previous one is custom obviously but this is the official one that you find on your student dashboard and basically it's the easier way to read the order flow from the bigs big banks and institutions so let's go and see what they have been doing on the euro is sorry on the euro and on the gvp to gain an advantage over our competitors in the market now what we can see we can see that in the long term we had net positions going from minus 114k net positions all the way up to plus 118k net positions what does it mean it means that we went from a situation where we had way more shorts than longs with 271k shorts and 157k longs to a situation where we had way more longs than shorts so completely the opposite with 190k longs and 72k shorts however look at what has been going on with the last report we can see that hedge funds opened in a new 9k short positions and at the same time they closed 10k longs so they closed a massive amount of longs on the euro and opened a massive amount of shorts so we can definitely 
expect some a euro weakness and this will favor euro gbp going to the downside and if we go and see what we have on the pound what we can see is that in the short term it has definitely been getting stronger from minus 36k to minus 20k and we can see that with the last report alone they added another 4k longs yes they added also shorts but clearly they had closed a massive massive amount of shorts and in fact we can clearly see that the net positions had increased so gbp getting stronger euro getting weaker euro gbp is supposed to make the move to the downside and in fact that is exactly what the market actually did right we have just seen that the market just created this move to the downside now how we can be looking for a new capitalizing opportunity on the pair now it is pretty clear that after the market created this impulse to the downside if the market will start a retracement what what we will have we will have first of all the structure and we will also have the fibonacci taken from the high to the low of the impulse let me bring back all the levels because always remember that if you want information on a retracement in the market so let's say for example the retracement starts from here if you want information on a retracement in the market you're supposed to be taking your fibonacci on the impulse so how we will be approaching the market in that case we will be waiting for the retracement obviously we will exit the trade that we already have with students as a break-even trade because we are already risk-free on the trade and when the market will go for the retest of this structure on the four hour time frame because as i said earlier monthly weekly and daily are the best time frames for direction but the best time frame for entry is the four hours so with students inside of this area we will be monitoring price action on the four hour time frame waiting for the market to provide to us one of our valid entries and as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries we will be taking a nice short with a very good risk to reward and very good probabilities for the move to the downside and to see the market actually go and test this very strong demand area which was also clear structure here which the market definitely is supposed to go and retest to grab some liquidity if you enjoyed the video make sure you smash that like button and comment below it really does support the creation of more free analysis and education for all of you also you find linked in the description the complete mentorship program that i have so the way in which the program is structured is that first you learn all the rules of my rule based strategies and then you trade them live with me each and every day i give you a new daily market breakdown showing you exactly how to apply the strategies with entry stop and take profit as well as answering every single question that you have every day so i really suggest that you go and check it out and i will see you in the next video